Welcome to the American Air Gun Hunter. This is Jim Chow. Join me as I hunt small game, big game, varmint, and predators around the country and around the globe. Hatson is a well-known name in shotguns. They've been building doubles for a number of years. Really nice guns. But they also build air guns. They build both PCP air guns and spring piston air guns. Today, I'm looking at the Hatson Model 125 Sniper. This is a Magnum spring piston air rifle. It's putting out about 22, 23 foot-pound of energy. This gun is in 25, but they also come in 177 and 22. One of the things I like a lot about this gun is the camel finish on the synthetic stock. This gun has adjustable cheek piece and butt pad to allow the gun to be really set up for an individual shooter so that they can optimize the, the accuracy, the intrinsic accuracy of the gun. This rifle is large. Almost all the Magnum uh, spring piston guns are. They need uh, a larger compression chamber. They also need a longer barrel uh, that makes the cocking a little bit easier. These guns take some cocking effort and the longer barrel and also on this gun the moderator uh, serves as a cocking handle. Really uh, makes it much easier. The rifle has an 11 millimeter dovetail and also has a weaver style. So you can use either a conventional 22 rimfire type of mount or you can use a weaver mount. I like that. It's one of those little things that I, I think really shows some intelligence in the design. The gun comes with open sights, um, fiber optic sights. It has green in the back, red in the front. And I um, mounted a Leapers uh, 3x9 variable scope. It has a 50 millimeter aperture on this rifle. And it's really served me pretty well. I've been shooting this for, for a few weeks now. Um, actually took it out on a really nice uh, squirrel hunt, which I'll show you a little bit later. And the gun functioned really nicely for me. The safety on this gun is the uh, exposed hammer style. And I, I actually like that. I have access to it. I don't have to lift my cheek up. I don't have to move my hand to be able to access it. One of the things I'm not absolutely crazy about is that this uh, automatically deploys when the gun is cocked. But in this day and age of, of worries about liability, a manufacturer has to take these steps. And if you are going to have an automatically deployed safety, I prefer one that's easy to switch on and off. So now I was ready to get out to the woods. I, uh, I grabbed my rifle, I went, I sat, uh, sat down, got up on shooting sticks. This was the 25 caliber version of the gun and uh, started shooting at a target 35 yards away, put in a, a 10 round group and to a, an area that could be covered with a quarter. Felt good about that. Set up the steel spinners. Uh, first shot at the big one, boom, hit it. Thing fell over, went and set it back up, hit the middle one, came over again, braced it again, shot the little one, and it fell over again. But uh, I saw that the power was there, the accuracy there was there, and I was ready to hit the woods. all the PCP rifles I have to hunt with, I still like getting out with the spring piston. I took out the Hatson, it's a Sniper 125, it's in a 25 caliber. This thing is a hammer. Uh, the squirrel is about oh, 40 yards away and up in a tree. Um, got a nice shot, hit him, uh, hit him just right at the neck, right at the shoulder, between the shoulder and the head. Um, put him down, just dropped out of the tree. Yeah. This cold. device is nothing new for uh, bird hunters, but I found a really good way to to carry my small game um, when I'm out in the field. You know, I never knew what to do with the squirrels. I stuck them on my pack, it got all bloody, put them in bags, and it was just, it was kind of messy. Uh, but uh, this you just use like you uh, would with a bird. I slip it back over the, uh, the legs just for an extra hold so it doesn't just slip off. But there, I can carry, uh, I can carry a limit of squirrels, no problem. It snaps onto my bag, snap onto a belt, or just carry it like this. But uh, works really well. They're not very expensive. I got this at uh, Cabela's. I think I paid like 12 bucks for it. 
Um, it's well worth it. Anyway, I'm going to take this hats out and see if I can get a few more squirrels. So I was sitting here, I saw a few more moving around up on the branches. So I'm going to go give it a shot.